Hello everyone, today I am going to show how you can configure some of the uh, basic alert policy in your Office 365 portal without using Defender for Office 365 license. So if you are using Office uh, Defender for Office 365 license, it will be uh, giving you a wide range of options for the uh, alert uh, for your tenant. Uh, but if you don't have the license, then you can uh, still configure some of the uh, service alerts or message, message alert uh, for your administrator that uh, you can track uh, of your progress of your uh, Office 365 tenant and as well as uh, to see the service health uh, from the Microsoft also. So these are the links that I uh, collected. Uh, so we will see one by one. So first one is for service health. You can copy this one and then uh, paste it to your uh, Office 365 admin uh, portal. So it will directly uh, go to your to the service health uh, option page so in here as you can see these are the service health this is the advisory from microsoft so if you have if you have any issues and if you have any service a related problem that you can see it in here and if you want you can customize this and then get an email uh, get a uh, notification send an email notification about service health so you can enter incident advisories issues your environment that require action so this is very important for any uh, admin any uh, administrator who uh, manage the office 365 portal so in here you will input your uh, email address so you can save in here so this is a uh, very easy just uh, input uh, email address in here you can uh, send up to two email addresses separated by semicolon just use a semicolon in here and then you can add another address in here so this is the first one the second one is a message center so copy this one go to another tab So in message cent center, if uh, it's uh, you know uh, uh, related to Microsoft, is there any updated for the community, updated for the Office 365 portal in whole? Uh, so it will uh, show in in here. So difference between service health and message center is the service health is uh, related to your tenant. So uh, it is uh, uh, showing the. Uh, issues or any advisories or any incident that directly related to your tenant so you will find it in here but in message center it is in general uh, general message for all microsoft uh, 365 customers so you can still uh, get uh, a notification for here from here you can just click on preferences click on email and you can get this see this the primary notification already in here set in here so if you want you can use another email addresses other email addresses who want to get the message center notification from microsoft so i already have one so no need it is by default so this is the second one so third one is uh, you can configure some of the uh, alert policies for your exchange uh, exchange portal exchange admin from here so you can go to this link so in here you can go to the alert policies in here so in alert policies you will find some of the predefined alert policies in here so uh, it already have replay all storm detected or priority accounts mail flow is unhealthy messages have been deleted so uh, these are already created so you can uh, go to the settings and add your uh, email addresses in here so click on save so you can uh, input your email in here and also you can create a new alert policy let's say uh, you can give a name alert policy 
क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट गिव ए सीवियरिटी इन हाई और मीडियम और लो एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट एंड यू कैन ट्रिगर इट बाय मेल लूप स्लो ट्रांसपोर्ट रूल इफ यू हैव ए ट्रांसपोर्ट रूल इफ इट इज वर्किंग स्लो और एनी न्यू यूजर फॉरवर्डिंग ईमेल टू अनादर यू नो एड्रेसेस सो दिस विल यू नो यू कैन कॉन्फिगर फ्रॉम हियर सो यू जस्ट क्लिक इन हियर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड देन इम्पोर्ट योर ईमेल एड्रेसेस इन हियर सो एट द नेक्स्ट यू विल कॉन्फिगर दिस वन सो नेक्स्ट वन इज from the security portal so this is the uh, you know uh, important one this is uh, the uh, the one that uh, you will get all the alerts uh, uh, from here so let me close this one so from here uh, it will get all the office 365 security uh, you know uh, alert uh, alert services from here uh, but uh, to get the full level full uh, you know uh, uh, alert services you will need additional licenses like defender for office 60 by plan 1 or plan 2 uh, so you will uh, then you can create a new alert policy in here you can manage your alert policy in here so these are the you know alert policies that you can find so this is the one that uh, uh, you can you know uh, uh, manage from uh, your uh, portal so you can go through uh, this one you can also uh, create a new alert policy from here you can give it a severity you can give a, uh, how uh, mail flow type alert or others or permission related alert so you can uh, create as per your uh, you know need and also there are some uh, there are already some pre defined you know uh, alert policies are there already so let's say Uh, if you uh, you know wanted to uh, get the alert that email sending limit exit uh, exit so or maybe a user restricted from sending email so this is an high alert so just click on that uh, you know uh, policy you can then go to edit policy in here and select your admin account in here click on next and you can submit from here so these and you can click on done so these is some of the alert policies you can you know uh, done without any need of additional licenses but to get you know advanced level of uh, advanced level of security advanced level level of uh, you know uh, other uh, e email and collaboration or you know threat intelligence you will need uh, defender for office 365 license so but still you can configure some of these policies and all the default policies that are uh, already in here they are you know uh, very very important and i uh, think that everyone should have you know uh, configure these policies let's say email reported by user not a junk failed extract data match upload or in you know, a flagged and confirm phishing so these are uh, you know by default policy Uh, you can uh, still go growth go through here or also you can also um, configure uh, some new policies as per your requirement let's say you give it a high for mail flow let's just test it and you can you know say that some of the common user activities in here uh, file and accessibility so you can create alert as per your requirement as per your need so uh, you can follow it in here and then you can configure uh, from here so this one is uh, for from the security portal and the last one is from microsoft teams alert so from microsoft teams portal you can also configure uh, some of the alert for your uh, microsoft teams user first one is for uh, microsoft teams admin center so in here you can get an alert for your device state your app submission or audio quality uh, for your uh, uh, teams uh, portal video quality or application sharing so these are the five items you can find it in here so some of the alert policies you need teams pro licenses uh, uh, if you want to configure this one let's say for this one i mean your audio quality in progress so uh, you can get 
and in and, and action let's say you will get uh, action from uh, the alert for your particular channel if you select the channel uh, from channel you will get uh, the uh, alert in here default channel alert you can get in configure from here you can monitor uh, also from here and uh, uh, also for for uh, video quality in progress same as admin go uh, gets a notification to the uh, default channel so it will uh, get the get the notification from here what video monitoring ability only for users who have teams premium or teams room pro licenses so some of the alert you need higher licenses for teams so these are the uh, you know five uh, links that i uh, collected and i found uh, that we can configure uh, uh, notification email notification for IT administrator so we, uh, if you are an IT administrator you can uh, configure those alert uh, and, and you can stay updated so that's it for today uh, thank you